Hello everyone, Keith Batchelor here. I'm here to create a very short instructional video on the opening and closing on the Carrier SLX 15X model and the type it on. So I want to make sure that everyone is extremely comfortable with the way in which you detail to the doctor and the staff the opening and closing of the carrier SLX type it on. So one of the first things I want to show you as I pan down here and we start working with the 15X model is again the design of the carrier SLX bracket is such that the door in this profile view is sloped away from uh, the orthodontic slot. So you need to remember that it's not a linear or a straight pull or a push when you open and close the door, that it's a downward force on the occlusal opening of the door, downward force while you push or pull to open and close the carrier SLX bracket. So again, two things that you can remind the doctor and staff is one, they're gonna hear it close and they'll hear it in the open position because of the speed bump underneath the door and they'll also feel it. So as the door slides, in the closed position over the lollipop right here, they're gonna feel it click and they're gonna hear it. All right, same with the same motion when they open. Again, there's the speed bump and when it gets to the fully open position, they'll feel it go over that speed bump and they'll hear it just like that. So very important to detail first with your 15X model the overall design of the carrier SLX bracket, showing them the door feature with um, the occlusal hole right here when they open and close, and then to remind them that they're gonna hear and feel in the open and fully closed position. Also reminding them of the curvature of the door on the bracket so that it's a downward force with the instrument as you push or pull away in order to open and close the door. All right, so once you've detailed with your 15X bracket, then transition to the carrier SLX type it on. So it'll be important to then get your instrument, uh, the carrier SLX double ended opening tool. I personally um, recommend utilizing the angulated end, that's this end right here, I like this, and the other important aspect because of the hexagonal handle is to choke up. When you choke up on the instrument, it gives you the most control when you're working with the small carrier SLX door. So the other thing I'd like to do is once you transition and get them comfortable with the instrument, start to talk about the aspect of the carrier SLX bracket on the Typodont. So when they will be working with the patient, it'll be very important to provide support to each tooth as they're opening and closing because teeth are mobile during the course of treatment. So if you're working with an upper right central, you'll apply some occlusal support to the tooth. And then again, with um, choked up on the instrument, you're going to insert the opening tool into the round volcano occlusal opening of the door, downward force, and then when you're working with the upper, it's away from you. So then you'll hear it click in the open and click in the close. So you should have enough pressure downward and remember the curvature of the door that you'll have good control to open and close. And let them hear that. So let them see what you're doing go through a few more brackets, talk to them about the lower arch. So if, if the doctor or the staff are sitting at a 10 o'clock position at the chair side, the movement on the lower arch or the lower brackets with carrier SLX will be the same. You'll provide some support to the tooth and then this will be a pulling motion towards you. So you'll pull in the open position on the like this lower anterior and then you'll push to close and you'll hear it click but very important to provide the support and enough of a downward force as you're pulling. So then back to your type it on, then what you'll do is you'll take the instrument and type it on and then hand this to the doctor or staff and have them repeat what you have just previously demonstrated for them.
And sometimes you might have to um, take your hand on top of theirs just to help them to understand, you know, how much they're choking up on the instrument in order to get optimal control of the instrument when working with the door. So it's very key first that you have this technique down flawlessly so that when you're demonstrating it, uh, the doctor and staff can see it, and then you hand the two um, type it on an instrument over to the doctor and staff to then perform the same function. And it's just a matter of playing with it, getting used to it. I'm hoping that by now everyone is comfortable with their type it on. Uh, they've been able to successfully open and close the doors without the instrument slipping out of the cone. And um, so there you go. That's a very simple training video that I've provided for you right now and we'll have some more to come. So thank you everybody for your time and attention and happy selling.